Hi and welcome to this lesson where we are going to talk about constant acceleration. Before we get to acceleration itself, let's just quickly have a better understanding of velocity itself. Velocity. Do you recall what unit velocity is measured in? It's measured in meters per second. And what I want us to do is just have a little bit a better understanding of what meters per second is. Well, the formula for velocity is equal to the change in displacement divided by a change in time. And displacement is measured in meters and time is measured in seconds. That's why we get meters per second. Okay, but what does meters per per second mean well let's take a very basic example for example two meters now if I am NOT standing still in other words velocity is not equal to zero it means I'm moving okay and when I'm moving every second I'll be further away from the point I started with so if I start at zero after one second how far away will I be from where I started? Well, if I'm traveling at two meters per second, it means every second per second, I am moving two meters further away. So this is a distance of two meters. So after one second, I will be a distance of two meters away from where I started. After another second, I will be, so here's another second, I will be another two meters further which means I will be at a distance of four meters so constant velocity constant velocity means my change in displacement is constant and that's what this means this is the change in displacement actually the rate of change in displacement so constant velocity means that rate of change is constant. Now let's imagine a different scenario. Let's imagine you jump out of a plane. Okay, you are not trying to commit suicide. Actually, you are uh, skydiving. So there's our plane. It looks more like a shark than a plane, but bear with me. There's our plane. You've just jumped out of this plane and here you're going moving straight down. Okay. Now, one thing that you definitely know about falling is that when you start to fall, your velocity will be equal to zero. Okay. When you're just about to fall, your velocity is zero. But after one second, you are actually traveling at a rate that's bigger than zero. Okay. So you're already falling faster and faster. Okay, and that actually happens all the while. Every, after every second, your velocity is increasing. So one way of looking at it is after one second, you might have fallen 10 meters in one second. In another second, after two seconds, you have already fallen another 30 meters, which means in total you've now fa fallen 40 meters. And after another second, you would probably have fallen another 50 meters. So let me go down to draw that. So after three seconds, you fall another 50 meters. So in total, you've done 80 meters now. Do you notice how you are every second you are falling further and further, which means your velocity, if that is velocity one, and this is velocity 2, velocity 2 will be bigger than velocity 1. Your velocity is increasing. That is what acceleration is. Okay, Acceleration is the rate of change in velocity. Okay, velocity is changing. At what rate is it changing? So every second, how much is my velocity getting more? So 
after one second my velocity this v1 might be equal to 10 meters per second because look there I've fallen 10 meters in that first second after velocity 2 20 meters per second now you're going whoa 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 wait 20 meters in a second but I've already fallen 40 meters yes this is per second, okay, which means after two seconds, you would have had 40 meters because it's 20 meters per second. So what do we notice? This time, if I'm on a straight line and I'm measuring my velocity, okay, my velocity is increasing and my displacement every time is getting bigger and bigger and bigger, okay? so velocity changes over time what do we measure velocity in velocity is meters per second acceleration asks how many meters per second changes every second so it's meter per second per second that sounds confusing um, but it's not really if you give this a little bit of thought if I have something like my acceleration is 10 meters per second per second okay what does that mean well that means every second my velocity changes with 10 meters per second so if I start with 0 meters per second after one second I'll have my velocity is 10 meters per second so every second I am adding another 10 so now I'll be at 20 meters per second. So that's basically what it is, but just a different way of writing meter per second per second. Think of it like this, meter per second divided by second. That's the same as saying meters divided by second twice. That means meters, di meters divided by second squared. So the unit for acceleration is meters per second to the power of negative 2 now what about the formula for constant or actually average acceleration average acceleration we are going to assume that acceleration stays constant for this specific course okay uh, Okay, I realize acceleration only has one L. Okay, acceleration, average acceleration. We're going to assume that it stays uh, constant. Uh, it's probably not the case. Acceleration may change. It may increase or uh, not. But for most, for the most part of it, acceleration actually does stay constant. Okay. So what is the formula? Well, as you can see, we have velocity over time. And that's the exact formula. The change of velocity divided by the change in time. Now the change of velocity means it's taking the future velocity minus the initial velocity. That gives me my change in velocity. So if at some time in the future I was I'm, I'm, I'll be traveling at 40 meters per second Okay, that's my future velocity but currently I am traveling at 20 meters per second okay this is my initial velocity so future velocity and initial velocity and what you notice is that this difference subtracting them gives me an answer of 20 meters per second that tells me by how much did my velocity change from the past to the future it changed with 20 meters per second okay and that is measured over time, some change in time. So I said this is now, so time would be zero. This is some time in the future, let's say that's after four seconds, okay? Which means that my change in time, if I have change in velocity over change in time, would be, f uh, change in velocity is 20, change in time would be four minus zero. And there we go, 20 divided by 4 is 5 meters per second. On average, my velocity is changing at 5 meters per second. Okay, um, so change in time actually takes the future time minus the initial time. Okay, one more thing. What if my future velocity 
is less than my initial velocity. Okay, that means something like, let's say at some time in the future, I am actually traveling at zero meters per second. What does that mean? It means I'm standing still. But currently, so this is future velocity, currently I am traveling at 20 meters per second. Okay, that's my initial velocity. This is going to give me negative 20 meters per second. Okay, let's say this happened in 10 seconds. Okay, so from now to then is 10 seconds. So my change in time is 10 seconds. Now I actually get negative 2 meters per second squared. What does negative velocity mean? Negative velocity, sorry, not negative velocity, negative acceleration. Negative acceleration is decelerating. Decelerating. I don't think that's about correct, but you know what I'm saying. Deceleration actually means I am decreasing my speed. Okay, I am slowing down. Maybe that's much easier to understand. Slowing down. So I was traveling at 20 meters per second, but then I slowed down until I stopped. Okay, if I continue my deceleration, it means my velocity will start getting negative. So let's say I'm traveling at 80 meters per second. After one second, I'll be at 16 meters per second. After another second, I'll be at 14. Do you get where I'm going with this? Meters per second. If this continues, eventually I'll be stopping. But what if it continues? Then, after a while, I'll be at negative 2 meters per second. And then at negative 4 meters per second. And this continues. And now we see my velocity is increasing, but now with a negative. Well, it actually makes very simple sense if you understand that I am decreasing my speed, so I'm slowing down, stopping, and then turning around and speeding up. Okay, so I'm going so slow, I'm going backwards. I hope you got what I mean by acceleration, how to calculate it. Let's quickly just remind ourselves the formula acceleration is the change of velocity over change in time and therefore its unit is meter per second for velocity per second since I'm having it over time and a different way of writing that is simply meter per second squared or meter per second squared like that thank you very much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it